hello welcome to my channel so i'm back again with another pick a card reading this pick a card reading will be what is your person's kind of feelings for you right now what do they think about the connection how do you feel about the connection so i have three piles to choose from the first pile will be this angelite support is all around you second pile will be this rose quartz open up your heart and then the third pile will be this carnelian feed your creativity so use your intuition the best that you can, and I'll see you at your reading. Hello, Pal One. So if you chose the angel light, support is all around you. This will be how your person currently feels about you and the connection. how they feel currently this person feels worried there's like a worry here between the connection how they feel about this connection is like worried or they feel like they're not in control of their emotions that they have for you so this can be a bit uncomfortable to your person the fact that they can't control how much emotions that they do have for you i feel like they feel a lot of emotions that they don't really want to feel right now so this could have been like somebody who wasn't on wasn't planning on having a relationship or wasn't planning on catching this much feelings or yeah i feel like they caught feelings for you but it's just like they're really uncomfortable about the level of emotions that they do have for you power one like they have a lot of emotions for you and i think they're trying to like keep their composure the best that you for as long as they can i'm here and keep their composure so i don't know if it's like this person wants to like finally express how they feel about you or they want to be transparent about how they feel about you maybe they're high they're trying to like be cool calm and collective <laughs> about the the relationship and the feelings that they do the amount of feeling that they do have for you, I think they're trying to hold it all in. I don't know what for, but they're definitely, like, the feelings that they have for you is, like, could be overwhelming for them. And it's hard for them to handle because they don't know if you'll, how you'll take it. I think it's more so, like, they don't know how you'll respond to them having, them being transparent with how they really feel. It's not that they don't want to be transparent with you. I think it's just, I don't know what it is. Like, it's just giving me that they're... It's almost like they're afraid of I'm not really getting afraid. I'm getting more more of a worried feeling than anything from this card for the emotions that they have for you. Like it's like a worry here. Like I think it's because it's so like freeing, like this relationship that they share with you is so freeing and like liberating, like kind of like maybe you're most so like it's like they have to go with the flow or if not, it's like they want to go with the flow or they're trying to go with the flow because they don't want to ruin things. It's kind of like they feel like the ball is in their court where it's like they feel like they're the only ones that can mess this up because maybe you being so maybe you're very transparent power one where you're raw with your emotions or you're raw with everything. You're like very like open. And this makes them, it makes them worried because they don't know if they can be as open as you to new things. And I think you're just, how they feel about you is they feel like, I don't know. They don't know how to respond to the emotions, basically. 
it's not anything that has to do with you. I think they don't know how to respond to the emotions that they have for you. So they could come off a little, you know, shy for some of you guys, um, awkward for some of you guys. They could come off toxic. They don't know how to express their emotions in a very, in a healthy way. I think they're trying their best to react to their emotions. I think you trigger them, but in a good way. I think you trigger them both ways. Like you just trigger their emotions a lot. This two of pentacles is like, he can't, he's all over the place. So I think you trigger their emotions. And right now they're worried because they're, they're trying to see, like they don't know how to respond to their own emotions for you because the level of emotion that they do have for you, they didn't expect it to be as much so soon for some of you it's like this is it happened pretty quickly could be a fire sign don't have to be they just have like they feel a lot of chemistry for me power one how does power one feel about how does power one person feel We got the nine of wands for how they feel about you. Yeah, this person could feel like you'll hurt them or they don't want to be hurt. They're a little guarded, yeah. I was saying that they're having trouble with transparency here. Like they're having trouble with being transparent in this pile, your person towards you, how they feel about you. It's like, <laughs> they could be hiding a lot for this pile, basically hiding their emotions, hiding how they feel, hiding. They could be also hiding that they're emotionally un unstable. So they could have emotions, like it doesn't have, it's not just they don't know how to react with their emotions with you and the connection. They also don't know how to react to emotions, period. Like emotions make this person, I don't know. It's like this person doesn't know how, this person could not know how to handle uh, anger, um, frustration, um, sadness, um, like passion towards somebody. Um, love they probably don't know like love the feeling of love that's a very high vibration they probably don't know how to react or respond to this this can make this could put them in the nine of wands energy how much love they have for you um but how they feel about you i think they probably don't know what's going on yet they want i think this person is like wanting control so bad that It's putting them in this two of pentacles energy like they're putting themselves in this two of pentacles energy because they want control around this connection and in this connection they want to be in the one with the power here i'm getting a power struggle this two of pentacles is also giving me and showing me power struggle here they feel like somebody should be in power over the other one in a relationship so this could come off this isn't I mean, unless you want to be dominated, this is okay. But if you want to be considered as an equal, that you guys could have a power struggle from now. I don't know. It's like this person wants power. Like how they feel about you. They want power over you. And in the connection, they need power. They want power to... Because this one here is showing me like insecurity. They could feel insecure. Like I said about like for you, because it's the emotions that... They could, well, how they feel about you, Pamela, they could feel like you're the one with all the control. And this is <laughs> this is putting them into a pinnacles because they're not used to that. They might think that you have like emotion, that you have power over their emotions. Um, I'm also getting like stalkery vibes, like this person with the nine of pinnacle. I mean, yeah, the nine of wands, I'm getting that they, it's like stalkery vibes as well. Like they want so much control that if you weren't around them, they wonder what you're doing in a very obsessive way. And I feel like they, the feelings of obsession for you is putting them into pinnacles as well because they don't know how to handle these thoughts of like wanting to stalk you, check up on you. Um, this person wants to know what you're doing 24 seven could be. 
and this could be very like intimidating because they probably haven't felt like this in a long time or they haven't felt like this ever and so the fact that you have them wanting to get to know you wanting control over you wanting to be with you wanting to dominate you wanting to be in love with you this person probably wants to share love and be intimate i feel like yeah for you how they feel about you they want to have intimacy here but it's like a struggle because it could feel like power is love they could get power and love confused or they feel like it's like a struggle here though with the two of pentacles like they're struggling power one for you like they're struggling with all the weird and toxic and vulnerable and overwhelming feelings for you. They have a lot of feelings for you. Um, uh, like the four of wands, wanting to come out for how they feel. Yeah, this person wants something healthy. This person, how they feel about you, power ones, they definitely want something healthy and they definitely want some type of family or some type of household or some type of union because the four of wands is also 11 11 and that's all about balance and that's all about union and harmony. The card four of wands is about harmony, about union, about coming together as one, agreeing, having an agreement about something. Maybe this person feels like you guys might have a different upbringing this could also be like put you both in the two of pentacles they feel like maybe you guys have a very different upbringing um and this person i don't know this person wants you to how do you feel about you power they want you to be all of theirs for sure this person wants you like this person wants to be in a relationship if you guys aren't already in a relationship or yeah this person wants a relationship maybe even marriage this is like a traditional person or if not traditional they want monogamy with you. If not monogamy, yeah, I think they want monogamy with you. This person could also feel like you have other options. Yeah, you have other options and they want to be your only option. But they feel like maybe this could give them un uneasy feelings because maybe they feel like you won't choose them or you don't want to choose them. You have the Nine of Wands giving me like... Um, you could have rejected them or they feel like they're rejected even if you didn't reject them pal one it's like they feel rejected towards by you by certain things that you do or may say um gives them like little subliminal messages that you don't want a relationship right now but this person definitely wants a relationship so maybe this person could this person could come off a little bit manipulative as well because they want what they want which is something with you like a faithful this person wants you to be faithful to them how they feel is when they want you to be faithful and they want it to just be you and them like only two people not three not four not friends uh, this person could also not even want you to have friends of the opposite sex and they don't know if you will allow this because that's a lot of control some people think that's like too much of you know of a control but i think this person feels like it's necessary like they wouldn't even want you to have guys that are friends for whatever reason this might just make them feel more secure more stable in this four of wands like this person needs like a lot a, a bit much to feel <laughs> secure in a relationship like they might want you to cut off all male friends they might want you to what else am i getting they, they just need control they want control they want some type of they want you to do certain things for them where they know that you won't hurt them or something something like that this person could be very wounded, very, very wounded from past relationships. And this is why they want to dominate you. And this is why they need to have some type of power dynamic relationship. And they feel like you might not be okay with this. So they might try to manipulate you in some type of way. Um, and I'm getting that they want to like see what you're up to sometimes. I am getting a little bit of, little bit of stalker vibes, a little bit, a little bit. With the nine of wands um 
but yeah that's how they feel about you definitely think about you non-stop with this nine of wands energy he's definitely thinking about you or she's thinking about you non-stop this could also make them uncomfortable <laughs> and worried because they don't know where this is going to go and where this is going to lead but they definitely want something with you definitely like a they would definitely want a relationship or work on having a relationship with you but they definitely want you to drop all your options pile one so that's what i have for you if it did resonate please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next post Hello, pal two. So if you chose the rose quartz, open up your heart. This will be your reading on how your person feels about you. Could be a earth sign. Or your earth sign, or they have a lot of money. <laughs> or yeah, they're financially stable. If they're not rich, rich, this person is financially stable, or they're earth sign. Or they're like a workaholic. So how do they feel about you, Pouchy? How does Pouchy's two person, how does Pouchy's person feel? That flips out pretty hard. It could be a King of Wands as well. We have the Nine of Wands. Hmm. how they feel about you <laughs> they could feel like you're a little standoffish pal too I'm not gonna lie like they feel like they might feel like you don't want them um or you're not physically attracted to them i'm not getting why or you come off a bit a little bit detached or you're not as you guys or maybe you guys just aren't getting intimate anymore maybe you guys it's like a lack of sex here like you guys aren't having as much sex as you guys used to or maybe you guys or maybe you're just this person you could come off very anxious in sex as well um you could come off as very like timid when you guys get intimate as well if you guys have got intimate if not you may come off as if you don't even want to experience something sexual with them so i'm not sure if this is like an actual yeah because this person wants to get intimate i'm thinking or they want to get more intimate or they just want you to let your guard down so if you've had trouble of like letting your guard down they want you to let your guard down because it's making them feel unwanted and it's making them feel i don't know like you don't want anything with this person it's just, it's just like you're coming off as is. You could be very tense around them, very nervous around them, very, you're very, you, you suspect a lot or it's like you don't, they, how they feel is that you feel like you can't trust them or you don't want to trust them or you're just not in a place right now to trust them. So they're feeling like, they could be feeling like they want to earn your trust back or they want to earn some type of trust if this is like a new person this type of energy though overall about too is they want to earn your trust like they what they would like for you to trust them in the bedroom and outside of the bedroom in the relationship like they don't want you to have any worries about anything that's how they feel I don't have, want you to have to worry about anything. How does positive person feel? How does positive person feel? This person could feel like. They want you like i don't know they want you to be more, like you have a lot of burdens i can tell you have a lot of burdens so it's like how they feel is that they want to let you like the whole message is like they want to let your guard down because the six of swords could be somebody that's like bringing heavy burdens um to like a new location and you need to let all those swords go because if you think about it that ship is going to sink like and 
I think they feel like maybe it's somebody that hurt you in the past even if it's not it's just like coming off as if you already expecting that they're gonna hurt you so you're very like you're expect like you're waiting on them to hurt you cheat on you leave you or whatever I don't I think they they feel like you could be you're probably like a commitment phobe and this person how they feel is like they want to like this person probably wants to risk it all for you or they want to take a risk with you but it's like they can tell that you're not willing to risk anything right now I'm not sure why maybe you have kids or you have obligations or they have obligations and something here where it's like it's, it's hurt here like they can tell you've been hurt before or they've been hurt or maybe they feel like they want to have some type of healing connection with you like they don't want to fight they don't want to argue this person wants to apologize this person could be feeling like they want to apologize if this is no contact they definitely want to apologize to you or they feel like they need they owe you an apology but this person could be too like shy and wounded to come back in because they feel like if they apologize to you you're gonna cuss them out or something <laughs> for some of you guys you you will cuss them out like you, you're gonna get i feel like you've been giving this person a taste of their own medicine for some of you guys and like they're just like very very in this night of wands where they're watching you i don't know it's like you're kind of just living your best life or you're doing you now for some of you and it's leaving them in this night of wands energy you now you want to come back and apologize it's kind of like that ex or that boyfriend where you post a picture and now they're like wanting to dm you wanting to call you wanting to apologize wanting to see you wanting to have sex with you it's giving me that energy where it's like they're wanting to apologize if you haven't talked to them in a while they wanting to apologize or they want to come in like this person probably wants to be right this person could probably feel like you're a bit argumentative or they want to they they know you guys are going to argue or maybe you guys have been arguing a lot and no matter what they do and what they say no matter how many apologies like you won't accept it or you will accept it but you still have a guard up like you're still wounded from whatever they did or whatever past relationship is like you have a burden on your shoulder like this pile you have a big burden so you might need to do heart healing or you might just need to release this person but this person does have feelings for you and they do want to come back in let me get the empress and a ten of pentacles so you could have been pregnant by them or you did have their child or you're pregnant right now or they feel like you're very like you would be a great mother they feel like they like they want to have a family with you i'm gonna just keep it because i feel like it's significant definitely want to have some type of like like commitment but they might feel like it's over like they don't even they how they feel about you politics is that they probably don't even have a chance anymore because they they fucked it up too badly like they already had a bunch of chances with the six of yeah could definitely want to come back and have sex <laughs> or how they feel they feel could feel like you're pregnant right now and like they'll be happy i don't know they would be happy if you were pregnant or How does this person feel? This person could have problems with their mother and this is why they act like this. Or they never had like a healthy feminine energy in their life before. They probably just don't know how to be in one for this pile. But they really feel they finally feel that too. Like you're definitely like the relationship type. Like your wifey material. Is what I heard. Then we got the five of pentacles. So this person could be very like this person definitely misses you a lot. And they feel like they fucked up how to. Like this person definitely feels like they fucked up and they don't know how they can come back in for this pile but they definitely want things to work but baby like you guys don't see eye to eye a lot or you guys can't find can't seem to find fair ground like it's always arguments and it's always disagreements and it's always i don't know but this person thinks that you're like their wish fulfillment 
like they feel really good to be around you you make them feel very like good inside but they might not ha know how to react because you could have been trying to power one um but they're definitely in this if you have them in a dog house and you're not speaking to them they're definitely in this five of pentacles energy wanting this ten of pentacles like they want a commitment i think this is more so like they want children other power i think it was like more so they just want a relationship but with them it's kind of like they just want a family like they want like the dogs the animals the cats the whatever it is a couple kids they want kids maybe you guys have been arguing about kids like maybe you want kids they don't or maybe they want kids and you're not ready for kids or it's just something where you guys are always like getting into little fights here and there however they messed up i'm feeling like they did mess up for this pile and how they feel is like in this fall of pentacles energy like they could have they could be losing sleep over you pal too and this is something you don't know about like they're losing sleep they they feel like for this part i feel like they don't deserve you they're coming off as very undeserving like they feel like they want this ten of cup i mean ten of pentacles they could want ten of cups as well but it's like they're they're how they come off as this five of pentacles energy where they feel undeserving of real love and a real connection and a real family and a, a wife and a girlfriend they feel undeserving and energy like that always fucks up because they self-sabotage but this person definitely misses you and wants to apologize whether they are going to apologize or they're not for some of you guys they aren't even going to come back and apologize because they feel like there's no point they're still insecure about some things and for some of you guys they probably will come back and apologize but it's going to take a lot a while because they're in the nine of wands energy and the five of pentacles like it's going to take them a while to build up some courage like this person needs to like they're they're still healing from whatever happened to between you guys and they need to build some confidence to come back because maybe you glowed up with the empress like how they feel towards you as you glue up or you're glowing up or they know that you're going to be special or they know you're going to be successful yeah for this part they could feel like how they feel towards you they know you're going to be successful and they could still not even see this person is really confused about their lifestyle and their life purpose and their future like they could feel like you're out of their league for this part yeah definitely they feel like you're out of their league and you can come off a little bit standoffish because i don't know it's like you come off standoffish or you're not they know that they come back and they're not going to be able to have sex with you or they know they're not they're not gonna it's not gonna be the same like for this pal damn they, they could feel like this they could come back in and it's not gonna be the chemistry is gonna be off because what they did was like really low vibrational with the five of pentacles whatever they did so you might even if you did take them back they they can how they feel towards you is it's not the same they wanted to go back as when it, how it used to be for this pile, definitely. Like, they miss the old times with you. They miss how it used to be before you guys would argue, before you guys would fight, before you guys would break up and be on and off. Just basically, they miss how, it, like, the relationship was when you guys first started to get intimate, have fun, go on, like, dates. If you guys have went on dates, like, just hang out. They feel like it's not the same or it's not going to be the same. So some of you guys, they won't come back, but they're going to be missing you like crazy with this five of pentacles energy. Like, they're going to be missing you. Could even check up on you to see if you got a boyfriend, new girlfriend, or boyfriend for this pile. So if you got a new girlfriend or boyfriend, they're definitely trying to see who it is. Or they probably already know. Or they're jealous. They could highly feel as hard as you as well if they're not back in your life. They could, they're really jealous. They want to know who you're talking to now. They want to know, yeah definitely want to know who you're talking to now or if you're even talking to somebody else or if you're waiting on them they want to know if you're waiting on them they want to know like this person wants is wondering about you for this probably how they feel they're definitely wondering if you're with somebody else i think that's like their biggest fear for this pile like they'll really really be in the side of pinnacles if they find out that you're having sex with anybody else or you moved on or you had kids for some of you guys they they like even if years go by and you have kids and a family they'll be like they'll still check up on you i don't know this energy this type of energy is where they're not going to go to way really they're always going to see how you're trying to see how you're doing and check up on your energy because they it's like a love here like this person could love you they just don't know how to love you in a healthy way and they keep self-sabotaging and 
this person feels really jealous right now about how to so how they feel about you is like jealous but also like in their feelings and also want to apologize they don't even have confidence to come through for some of you guys they have low confidence um so yeah they could be like trying to text you and then they'll erase the text message they'll go to text you they'll go to call you but then they won't even call you they'll go to text you and then they'll stop texting you they'll go like they're like ashamed so that's what i have for you how to if it did resonate please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next post hello so if you chose the carnelian for your creativity this will be how your person currently feels about you so let's see <laughs> how your person feels We have the Queen of Pentacles, so let me cover her up real quick with something. Queen of Pentacles for how you feel about you. How do you feel? Is that you're really creative, you're really spontaneous, um, you're really magnetic. This person feels like you get anything you want, anything you desire, you can manifest um, anything that you want. This person could feel like you're very a uh, confident feminine. If you're not confident, you still act like you're confident. It's something about your confidence that they really, really love. Even if you feel like you're not that confident, like they love your confidence, like you know you're learning to be more confident. They love that you're unapologetic. This person loves that you're like sexy. This person loves that you're beautiful. This person loves that you're fun to be around. This person loves that you have good conversation. This person loves that you look really nice, like your body type they really, really like. This person really, really adores you. This person really, really likes you. Um, this person really, really wants you. Like how they feel is they really, really want you and they're crushing on you. So this could be your crush, they're crushing back. Um, but even if you guys are dating and you guys have been dating for a while, this person still has like a undeniable crush on you. Like there's a lot of chemistry here and I don't feel like that's ever going to go away. Like there's this type of chemistry where they're always going to crush on you and they're always going to court you and they're always going to make you look, feel like you're sexy and this person feels like you're sexy and they feel like you know that you're sexy and it's something about that that they really adore and they really really like you and they really really cherish because i don't know like a lot of women aren't unapologetic and aren't so confident and i feel like you're just like i don't know something about you that's very independent as well with the queen of pentacles because that's all about a woman who's financially independent who's somebody who's just independent overall like you know your worth so you could come off as like you know that you know your worth and you know that you're valuable and it's something about that where this person feels like that's very very sexy on you and you wear it very you wear it very well so it's like you come off like very magnetic like this person could feel very attached to you very drawn to you very like all over you like this person when they're around you they could be want to be all over, like they could want you to be like cuddled up on them making them feel like a king making them feel wanted like to be wanted by you would make them feel really really good so if you compliment them they love your compliments um they love complimenting you they love making you feel good whether that's sexual or non-sexual they just love to make you happy like how they feel towards you pal they just want to make you happy i just heard they just want to make you come <laughs> so yeah this person wants to like explore you your mind your body your soul this person wants to like get to know you even if you've known this person for a while, it's like they love getting to know you over and over again. It's something about you where they never get bored. Then we have the Two of Cups. So definitely, you guys could definitely be in a relationship. It could be somebody you're already dealing with. and Or it could be a crush or you guys are talking on. But you guys are in this Two of Cups energy where 
even like how they feel about you is like even if you guys aren't dating it feels like they're dating you like this person wants to date you for this pile definitely wants to date you definitely wants to court you for forever maybe and i'm getting like a forever for life for like this person want, could be i think this person is your soulmate because how they feel is like you're their soulmate they definitely feel like you could be their soulmate they definitely could think you could be somebody that they could actually commit to so maybe this person has a bit of a commitment problem but when it comes to you they're definitely willing to commit to you they're definitely willing to throw all their options away all their options in the garbage because something about you that's very special if you're coming up as the queen of pentacles for how they feel definitely feel like you're special and you're gorgeous and you're one of a kind like they feel like this is something that is very rare and they won't come by this too many times in life so i don't know what type of energy you you radiate power three but it's something that's very divine and it's something that's very like outshining all their other options and all their other choices um, when it comes to their love life so you can make them feel really really good and you radiate from a very high vibration they love this um definitely feel like you're one of a kind so they want to treat you right and they want to like keep you basically keep you around because you guys could have started off as friends first with two of cups if not i feel like this relationship with you is very easy going as if you guys were in a friendship in a relationship basically or you got they could want to see how a relationship would be like be with you because it's so like fun and lighthearted right now. So they wonder how an actual relationship would, would go with you. Like this person fantasizes about an actual relationship. Um, so let me have the Knight of Wands. So I was definitely picking up like sexual vibes here where this person definitely wants to be the only one that you're having sex with, be the only one that you kiss, be the only one that you touch, be the only one that like skin to skin. But this person wants to be skin to skin with you even if you guys don't get intimate, I think just being skin to skin with this person makes them feel very very humble very very human very very special very very loved just being skin to skin like skin to skin contact i think makes this person feel very very special and this is something that they want to continue to do with you if you guys have already done that something about you guys just being naked and laying down maybe or just you guys just being nude in the nude makes them feel very good makes them feel very free makes them feel like on top of the world they this person really likes you this person really uh even if this is like a secret thing that you guys are doing it makes them feel really good it makes honestly i feel like it, it starts off their week very good like this person kind of relies on your energy a little bit not gonna lie like this person kind of relies on the union with you it makes them feel really good it makes them feel like they can like go out and conquer anything you make them feel very manly as well pal three like they feel very like energetically charged when they even think about you let alone be around you king of pentacles so you guys could have your own money the both you guys are financially independent or this person is just your equal i was getting that as well with the two of cups definitely your equal definitely somebody that wants to be fair when they come in they want to be fair they want to be open they want to be honest this person wants to be transparent they probably already are transparent they love that you give them you give the same energy whatever energy they give you they know that you're gonna nourish it and they know that you're gonna give them just what they give you it's like a fair committed union that they have with you and that they want with you if they don't have it already they want that um but they feel like or they feel that they feel like they could have like something balanced with you because the queen and the king is like balance it's like you're equal um i think both of you guys are very physically fit or you guys are both physically aesthetically pleasing like both of you guys look like you would be a couple like you guys actually physically fit each other like this is how they feel they feel like you are like the perfect fit i don't know if it's the height i don't know if it's like the skin tone like you guys just look very very good together you guys probably like to look nice dress nice you guys are probably both very wealthy or this person could feel like they want to give you some of their money or they want to spoil you this person's probably been spoiling you or they want to spoil you pile three um what else am I getting for you about three? But yeah, it's definitely coming up as like, maybe you guys have been having really, really good sex. I don't feel like even if they come, like this person could feel like, even if they have been flighty, 
in and out in and out with the knight of wands this person wants to be more like this person wants to ground this connection like if it was just sex based they want to ground this they've been thinking about grounding this they've been fantasizing about grounding this um you're something that they really really like <laughs> like like they enjoy your company a lot with the two of cups I'm probably wondering if you enjoy their company as much as they enjoy yours. See how they've been feeling. I got the power three. Oh, we got the definitely. I just said they were fantasizing, and then the king of um, swords came out. Um, they could feel like uh, I'm getting spying vibes. I'm not even gonna lie. The other pile was like stalking. I think this pile is like spying, but like, what's the difference? I don't know. But and I also am getting from the King of Swords energy that they definitely like talking to you. They want to talk to you more. They want to talk on the phone. Um, they probably want to have phone sex for some of you guys, or they're thinking about having phone sex. Person wants you to send them nudes person likes um the communication part of it so i think what stimulates them is like your voice they could feel like okay so if you're for power three they think that you have a very very beautiful voice they feel like you have a very very beautiful smile as well that want to just come through they do find you like physically charming i don't think this person is insecure though i was getting a couple of piles that they were insecure but for this part, I'm not getting that, in that they're insecure at all because this is like your equal. I think they're fine too. Like both of you guys could be like look good as fuck. So it's like they're not challenged at all. How they feel is they're not challenged at all. They could like the challenge a little bit, but they're def yeah, they definitely want you to cut everybody else off with the King of One. I mean King of Swords here. Honestly, I think they might be cutting off their options because you're the only one that they want. You're the only one they want to give their time and energy to now. Now that things are going really, really good between the two of you, I think they don't even want or need other options, how they feel. They don't even need or want other options because it's like, why would they have other options when they have the Queen of Pentacles, somebody that is aesthetically pleasing to them, who treats them right, treats them good, and is their equal. Like, they don't even need flings or hoes. Or, this is how they feel. They don't need hoes anymore. They don't need to date anymore. They don't need to weigh out their options anymore because I think they find like they feel like they found the perfect balance, you know, with you. Yeah, and as I said that the justice card when I come out with the two scales. So definitely feel like they don't need any other options because I think they feel like too many options will like fuck everything up and they don't want to lose you at all. Yeah, too many options will like outweigh the scales. I feel like they feel like I feel like they feel like if they're faithful to you, they'll be faithful back. Like they feel like your fruits are worth like harvesting. Like you have a like this person feel like there's a lot of potential if they pursue this with you. Like you got I'm gonna be surprised if you guys aren't already dating or you guys will start you guys are just gonna start dating soon. And you guys aren't gonna like it's like you guys are gonna be like two magnates after you guys decide you want to start dating with the two of cups like you guys are gonna be inseparable inseparable literally this is how they want it to be then we got the two of pentacles so you guys might even be even comfortable with having a not an open relationship definitely not an open relationship with the two of cups this person wants a monogamy with you but i think you guys might even have somebody come in from time to time in your sexual unions or you guys yeah you guys are very will be very comfortable with each other sexually i feel like for this part if it's not com if you guys aren't comfortable yet or you're not comfortable yet you're gonna start to get very very comfortable where you guys might start letting a third person come in the bedroom with, bedroom with you sometimes if not and that's you know that definitely might not happen it's just the fact that with the two of pentacles you guys won't have as many options anymore you know this person's gonna like throw away all their options they might even stop going to the club um this person might be like an extrovert they like going to the club some of you they might stop some of you guys they might still go but they're never gonna cheat on you because you're gonna after the club they're gonna come straight to you i feel like when this person gets drunk 
all you can think about is you anyway so they're gonna come straight to you they're gonna text you see if you're up bug you late at night <laughs> when they go out to the club with their boys or whatever um this person i feel like this person wants wants to be faithful with you like that is hard to find a man that wants to be faithful like you don't have to force them you don't have to you know put your you don't have to threaten to leave them you don't have to threaten them that you'll leave if they cheat or whatever step out this person actually wants to be faithful with i think they're tired of hoes like they want something with you pile three and i think they'll be very like devastated if you don't want it back but i feel like you do want it back i feel like you're interested i feel like and if you are dating this person this person is definitely faithful to you pile three so if you had like speculations because they like to go out or they like to like talk and converse because this person likes to talk that you don't have anything to worry about you don't have anything to worry about. This person could even want have thoughts of marriage with the justice card being here. Um, they have a lot of thoughts for the future with you with this king of king of um swords. And they fantasize a lot about the future with you. So you don't have nothing to worry about. This person only wants you. They're only attracted to you, they only want you. They feel like you're the perfect fit. Um they probably how they feel they probably want to see you right now with the knight of wands always giving me like immediate wanting to see you like wanting to hit you up right now like while you're watching the reading they want to see you they want to hold you they want to hug you they want to kiss you they want to watch netflix so <laughs> that's what how they feel about you pal three this person misses you so that's what i have for you if it did resonate please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next post